Are you all ready for a big drama? Thank you so much. This is the story of Gauridas Pandit. Gauridas Pandit is one of the most important sub-branches of Nityananda branch of the Sri Chaitanya tree of Bhakti. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami explains that Gauridas Pandit, the emblem of most elevated devotional service in love of Godhead, had the greatest potency to receive and deliver such love. Making Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda the lords of his life, Gauridas Pandit sacrificed everything for the service of their lordships. Sri Gauridas Pandit lives in the village of Ambika Karna. Gauridas Pandit was a great devotee of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the 24th year of his Leela on this earth, he took the following decision. I have come to this world to spread the message of pure love of God, bhakti through Yoga Dharma of Nama Sakirtan. But no one is listening to me. There is a call of very sincere devotees here in Nama Dvipa. But what about the rest of the world? I have decided I should take your history Thank you. I should take I should give up my Vishnu and take up Sanyas, because then people will take what I say very seriously. And whether they believe me or not, they will bow down and offer their obeisances to me. And in doing so, they will become purified. In this way, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has decided to take sannyas, the life of a renunciate. And before leaving for Vrindavan, their Lordship, Sri Sri Gaurasundara and Lord Nityananda Prabhu visited all their dear most devotees to inform this news and hence, they reached to the village of Ambika Kalna, where the great devotee by name Gauridas Pandit lived. Their lordship visited his beloved devotee Gauridas Pandit. Oh my lord, Shri Shri Gaurachandra, Nityananda, please come, please come, visit me, please my lord. My dear Gauridas, the whole world is suffering from the materialistic condition of existence and the only cure for this disease is to chant Lord Sri Krishna's name. Therefore, I've decided to go to Vrindavan and take sannyas. I have to go now. Go on. Vrindavan, my Lord wants to live to Vrindavan and Dattu, he wants to take sannyas and lead a life of a mendicant. No, how can I live? How can I live without my Lord? No, this cannot happen. My Lord, please, please, don't leave me. Please, do not leave me. You must remain here in this village of Amika Kana. How can we live without you, my Lord? Please, please, you cannot leave me. You cannot leave me. <laughs> Let me fulfill your desire in this way. We shall manifest ourselves in the form of Gaura and Nityananda. The deities you may worship. Please worship them. They are not different from ourselves. I must go now. Oh, no, no, I cannot. I cannot. Oh, my Lord of my life! No, you cannot leave, my Lord. You cannot. But my dear Gorilas, we have manifested ourselves in the deeds. We are not different from them. Please worship them. You have manifested your Lordships in this wonderful deity form. But if your Lordship is not different from them, let the deities go. But you must remember. <laughs> the Supreme Personality of Godhead is captured by the love of his devotees. They could not say no. So Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda raised their arms and they became murtis. And the deities put down their arms and started walking out. Please, please. Gauridasa, huh? but we are not different from our deities. Why 
don't you worship them? Oh my lord, if you are not different from your deities, why don't the deities go? You must remain! You must remain! Oh, if you desire, Golda, so be it. <laughs> for a while. The Supreme Lord is not different from his deity form. Blinded by the love of Godhead, Gauridas Pandit took a while to understand this. And finally, Gauridas surrendered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and said the following words. Oh my Lord, Gaurachandra, Nityananda, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead. You are Swarat. You are completely independent. If you have to live, who am I to stop you, my lord? Who one can stop your lordships? I will, I will, for the rest of my life, worship these wonderful deities. I'm so foolish that I could not understand that your lordships are not different from your deity form. Let me, let me worship my lord in this wonderful deity's form for the rest of my life and I will be very satisfied. Thank you my Lord. Thank you for so much of your mercy. Thank you my Lord. So in the Lord was worshipped by Gauridas Pandit with such love and devotion. Gauridas Pandit had many many disciples because of the simplicity of his heart and pure love for Krishna. People would come from all directions to take shelter of his lotus feet. This was many many years after Lord Vityananda and Lord Chaitanya had already disappeared from this world. Gaur Purnima, the divine appearance day of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was approaching. One day, Gauridas called his disciple Hridayananda. My dear Hridayananda, Hridayananda, please get up. I am so pleased with your wonderful devotional qualities. You are an amazing disciple of mine. You have been serving me and my Lord, Shri Shri Gauratendra, with so much of love. Hridayananda, I must tell you an important thing now. There is going to be in a very few days, the mother of all festivals, Gaur Purnima is coming. And I want to celebrate Gaur Purnima by inviting all the Vaishnavas in all the directions and making amazing celebrations. And you must assist me in this endeavor. But I have to tell you that I have to leave on an important task to a city. Until I don't come back, please do not make any arrangements unless you have my instructions. Until I come back, please, kindly, take care of my lordships. Saying this, Kauridas Pandit left the village of Ambika Kalna on important work. Many days passed by, but Kauridas Pandit did not return. As the festival day was fast approaching, Gurudev, I am so confused. You have very clearly instructed me that I am not to arrange for the Gorpurnian festival until you return. And yet, Gorpurnian is fast approaching, only a few days remain. If I do not send out the invitations, the Vaishnavas coming from distant places will not have time to reach here by the festival day. Gurudev, with a prayerful heart, I must disobey your instruction and send invitations to the Vaishnavas. Saying these words, Hridayananda sent out invitations to everyone and began the preparations for the celebrations. In the midst of all the activities, 
Gauridas Pandit returned back home. What's going on here? Who is making all these arrangements? How dare can somebody make arrangements without my permission? Gurudev, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have disobeyed you. Gorpurnim was approaching and I needed to send out the invitations so that the Vaishnavas could arrive on time. Please understand my position, Gurudev. You? You have disobeyed the instructions of your spiritual master. There is no scope of any spiritual advancement for anybody if they displease the spiritual master. How dare you can do this without my permission? You rascal! I order you to leave the classroom right now. You have dismissed me. Hearing these words from his spiritual master, Hridayananda left the home of Gauridas Pandit and went to banks of Ganges. Hridayananda felt very bad and sitting on the banks of Ganges, he started lamenting. Re Krishna, Re Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Re Re, Re Rama, Re Rama, Rama Rama, Re Re. Oh Guru Dev, Guru Dev, what a sinful, wretched person I am. Oh Guru Dev, instead of obeying your order, I have made offenses by disobeying you. Now what will become of me? Oh, Gurudev. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Now Nidhyananda was weeping Hare like this. A very wealthy person arrived in a boat on the banks of Ganges. He saw Nidhyananda weeping and so he approached him. Oh Vaishnava Thakur. Oh Vaishnava Thakur. Who are you? What are you doing on this bank of this river Ganges? You seem to be distressed. Who are you? Hridayananda with a sad heart started explaining everything and he shared with him all the pastimes of Lord Krishna. Oh, you are the disciple of the great personality like Gauridas Pandit. What a fortune to serve personalities like your spiritual master and yourself. I would like to offer a donation for the pleasure of Lord. Please accept this donation and give it to your spiritual master. Saying these words, the wealthy businessman gave a lot of money to Rudyananda. Rudyananda ran back to the home of his spiritual master to explain everything that has happened. Oh, Gurudev! Gurudev! I am such a fallen, sinful wretch. But look, Gurudev, I have the most wonderful offering for you. Vrindavananda, <laughs> Vrindavananda, I am so pleased to see you. Oh, Vrindavananda, oh, Vrindavananda, what happened? What happened? What is the news? As you instructed me, I went to the bank of the Ganges. As I chanted and wept, I was approached by a wealthy businessman. He seemed favorable to Krishna consciousness. And he gave us so much money for the Gorpranim festival. Pridyananda, Pridyananda, I knew that you will certainly come back to the ashram. I knew that you will certainly come back to me. There is a purpose. My Lord, Sri Gaurachandra, had a wonderful plan for us. This Lakshmi, we will utilize it in the service of the Lord and make amazing, wonderful arrangements for Gaur Purnima. Shri Shri Gaur Purnima Mahatrakti. So they made wonderful, wonderful, elaborate arrangements and all the devotees came. And meanwhile, all the devotees led by his principal disciple Rudyananda, they went to the bank of Ganges. It was Mahaprabhu's birthday and they began wonderful, amazing kirtan. 
and expression of love given to everyone in this Kali Yuga. All the devotees were chanting the holy names with great enthusiasm, devotion and love. So as they were chanting, the Kirtan was a crescendo of Bhakti. And Lord Gaurachandra and Nityananda, they were moved with the devotion and they started dancing in the center of all the devotees. services to the deities. Gaur Nithai and celebrated Gaur Purnima 
in an amazing way. Go Purnima ki!